Hey, good afternoon, y'all. It's another great day that the Lord has made. We're getting back at it this afternoon, Sunday afternoon. And finally, I'm going to get a chance to do some work on the sink. Hopefully, I can get this thing set up so Nana can paint it this week. We'll see. Don't know for sure. But we're going to work on it. All right, you guys keep watching. Let's get back to work. Okay y'all, there you go, that's it for today. We got it all ready to go. Nana says she's gonna paint it with the sink on. Thought we was gonna take the sink off, but she prefers to do it with the sink on. She says she'll tape around it, yada yada, all that good stuff. So this week, I'm gonna be out of town. Nana's gonna take care of all that. She's gonna set the nails, putty the holes, caulk the cracks, sand, all that kind of stuff. And it's gonna be painted by the time I get home. Fantastico. All right, so you guys keep watching. See you when I get back. Nana will see you probably tomorrow. See you later. Good afternoon, y'all. It is a balmy 102 outside on this end of July, day or Monday afternoon. I'm not feeling great. My sacroiliac and my sciatica are driving me crazy. But it's time to change positions and Pops really needs me to do my best to get this cabinet painted this week while he's out of town. So I need to set the nails, see if I can get all the nail heads and the screws and all that smoothed out sunken in as best as i can and then i need to sand it and then i need to putty it and caulk it and then i can paint it i am obviously not going to get all that done it's already mid-afternoon i'm just gonna do a little bit and then i'll quit for a little while and i'll come back and do some more but i gotta get something done i just can't be on ice and laying around stretching all day long anyway Pops does so much for me. Sometimes I just gotta push through and get things done for him. Anyway, let's get started. Pops is still out of town. I already broke something last night, but I didn't know I broke it until this morning. I'll show that to you in a minute. You saw me sand and wood putty and set the nail. First I set the nails better and put the screws in a little better where I could. Then I sanded and then I put the nail putty stuff all over it, the wood putty stuff. So I'm gonna sand that down gently. So hopefully I can caulk it and then this afternoon maybe put a first coat of paint on it but let me show you what happened you know the drama we've been having with this larson door that we weren't even in the market for but we succumb because i'm home alone a lot so last night i thought you know what i heard something not that i'm scared to be out here you know larson door drama i heard something so i thought i'm going to lock the door so i know that you raise it up to lock it and then it locks it it wouldn't lock in this position or the down position so i knew i had to raise it up and lock it and it seemed to do just fine and then this morning when i went to let the little doggy out it wouldn't unlock all right so i went to let the doggy out this morning and locked so i raised it up to unlock it locked won't go anywhere That'll turn, but it's locked more. Won't go that way anymore. Oh. Won't turn. So I thought, well, let me pull it to me. Because sometimes you have to pull things to you. Nope. So, me and the dog are locked in the house, which is driving her crazy because she knows she can run off and play. <laughs> through the front door because that door has a doggy door in it and that's the lean-to and it leads out to the dog yard on that side of the house and there's a door over there that we can use and we can use this door but I had to go out and cut my dog fence which you know it's just two zip ties but I had to go do that because the dog wanted out 
And now she's so confused how she can get out the dog yard instead of out the front door. Ugh. I haven't told them yet. I'll tell them later. But I'm gonna get started feeling a little better than yesterday. So maybe I can get this done today, but I'm still gonna pace myself. Let me work on this and then I'll watch some videos on that Larson door maybe. We'll see. Ugh. Let's get to work on the cabinet. I sanded some more, I caulked, I puttied more. I used two already open things of caulking, which if I would have opened them, I would have made a really small hole so I wouldn't have to get out nasty. But it is lunchtime, so I'm gonna stop for now. All this supposedly can be painted in less than two hours, but if I paint today, it'll be closer to supper time. So that's hours and hours away. Anyway, ooh, I missed some nail holes. I gotta fix those real quick. Eek. Another one over there. How did I do that? All right, I'm gonna fix those and then I'm gonna go have some lunch. right now but i bet i have gray right here i had some on my plastic cap for when i was trying to squeeze in that hole there you go guys i do not think it's gonna need a second coat i might end up touching up here and there tomorrow but i'm not gonna give it a second coat it has pretty good coverage or signature gray since we bought so much for all the doors we've been using it now for the sink cabinet the doors the door trim the refrigerator that trim will be gray i might maybe possibly probably not come back and make this a different color across there just to give it a contrast a little since it's gray on gray but we'll see it won't happen anytime soon because i don't have any paint and as i showed you i'm locked in don't know what i'm gonna do about that anyhow it's done jules is like uh, be my friend quit talking Come pet me. Thanks, y'all. I'll talk at you later. Morning, people of YouTube, YouTube family, people out there in the whatever. Good morning. Um, it's been probably 18 or so hours since I painted this cabinet with some oil paint and it is touchable. I'm just looking to see if there's any spots I need to touch up before I put the paint away. It appears that we might be all good. The morning sun peeking in through the window up there. Shiny, shiny, shiny. Hopefully it'll help repel any water and stain. All right, y'all. I think I'm going to call that good. The pops gets it all set in place. It'll probably get a few more bumps and bruises, so we will need to probably touch up anyway. I'm going to clean all of this up and then work on some of that mess. I've been going through the filing cabinet since it was in storage for two years. So I got a lot to deal with there. Anyway, another day. Talk to y'all later.